Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and welcome to Doofus. Now, uh, first off, we're just going to select high uh, standard. Yeah, we got standard screen. Alright, now that I restarted the game, I basically had to restart it because it, it did say it took a while to like try and connect to the game. But I gotta say, they're using my like really old uh, name. I don't, I don't remember ever starting this game up. But we got three game modes here so this is permanent death against monsters XP and loot times three I don't, I don't know I don't know hmm this one is just recommended play and it's not permanent death and this one is permanent death against monsters and players 70% of item belonging to losers or extra loot. Huh. Beating other players allows you to steal some of their XP. I had like a hiccup slash burp there. But I think I'm just going to go with standard play since I am new to the game and need to learn it. <laughs> Not sure if they give me like a tutorial if I was just to go in. So we got Hipper Mage. Or Hopper and Mage. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, I think you could choose between male or female. Hold on. Uh, I was trying to, like, click on it. Um. I guess you would just go to create first. So we got. Reckless Warrior. Alright, so this is basically looking like, uh. A standard strategy RPG okay at least it looks interesting All right then we got the archer hold on let me just read the okay there's the genders there they are but we're gonna move on and I'll look at them at the end of it and see which one I want when I'm done okay so what does the metal look like not sure. I might go Berserker because they look like brawlers. I mean, they don't carry a weapon. That is. Got a healer. Okay, what's up with the succubus wings? Maybe he's in succubus? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, you, you can heal and steal HP. Interesting. Also a debuffer. Got ourselves a healer as well. Healer and summoner. Heal and revives. Okay, that's interesting. He's also a creature summoner. Uh, trying to see what all I could summon. Alright, so you just click on it and they actually show you a video. I mean, Summoner looks pretty cool. Alright. Then we got ourselves Assassin. You also make a skeleton, dude, apparently. Okay, what's up with Assassin? I know I didn't look at the other guys. I probably should. Or you can make clones. Hey, they got, like, traps, too. Interesting. Alright, let's go back and look at these guys. Alright, interesting. And Archer? Alright, Archer looks 
pretty interesting. I'm just gonna just go as fast as I can because I know this is gonna be a while since there's a lot of characters. Alright, now there's the healer. So I can just keep inside of here. Wait, did she just swap places with him? That's that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's the summoner. Alright. Now that we caught up, let's go see the barbaric. Alright, that's the female and this is the male. And yeah, what else can they do? Alright, they have an interesting fighting style, I can see that. Okay, that's just BS upon everything. <laughs> Summon like little dogs too. Oh, and they can transform. That's that's like really interesting. Then we got ourselves the treasure hunter. What can I do? Kinda ironic that you guys are using chests to present the treasure hunter. Summons a shovel that pushes enemies away. Chests that can be detected in invisible things. Okay, so he's just pretty much searching out characters that are invisible. Alright. Noted. The unpredictable fighter. So that's just pretty much like a card user. Well, she's using the sword. This guy is using the card. Basically like a gambler, is what I'm guessing. Interesting. So it has like a really unpredictable like playstyle, or it's like... Or it's like a random. And you gotta get lucky. That's what I'm guessing. Now we got the Technomancer. What is the Technomancer up to? I thought so. It had to be something with turrets. Techno Master looks like a lot more like strategy based. Like looks a lot more simple. And like it has a lot of utility. Alright, she can go Super Saiyan, noted. <laughs> yeah, positioner. Basically, like somebody who just sets up. Okay, we got protector, the female, and there's the male. Is this basically like a mage? That's what it looks like. Alright, interesting. Then we have Elemental Mage. That is the male and... Here's the female that we're looking at. Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. Alright, who's next? The Moody Warrior. So basically clowns. Alright, there's the male. I like their uh, logo for them though. They definitely have an interesting playstyle though. Definitely an interesting playstyle that I like. Aggressive Drinker. And there's the female. You can toss your teammates? What? Well, I guess toss the enemy. Definitely has an interesting playstyle for the game. Alright, next. The portal creator. So pretty much like teleportation around the map. I like the hood though. Alright, I see why it's difficult. I'm pretty sure it starts to get simple when you actually like think about it and get used to it. Then we have the Salvan. I guess that's that's how you pronounce it. I'm pretty sure that's like totally off. But who cares? Next see what they do. The Savan, I think that's what it was. Why am I so worried about that? <laughs> definitely interesting in a way. Not definitely not my playstyle. Then we have the explosive <laughs> Explosive experts. Yep, definitely see why they're experts. And they're also rogues as well, apparently. Alright, the last one is the Master of Time. And there's the female. I like the hood on that one too. Interesting. Alright, you can, see, you can freeze people. That's what I was thinking. But, definitely like interesting classes. I'm going to take a time to figure out which one I want to play. Uh, we're pretty much like 13 minutes in. And I'm pretty sure that's the standard time it takes me to like create my character. So it's not all that bad. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I decided to go with the Barbaric, and it looks like you can pretty much design your characters as much as you like. Well, not as much as you like. It doesn't seem like they have like any like cool sliders or anything. Uh, I think I like this one. 
but it seems like you can change their colors uh, to any color you actually want. Let's reset that because I don't like that color at all. Alright, so it blinks to what colors you're changing. Uh, let's make it a little bit... Well, my favorite color is green. I want to somewhat lead it towards that color. Let's change this to a little bit of a darker, like, brown. Brownish color, somewhat. Hold on. That one's down there. Let's try and bring it down there a little bit, too. Yeah, I think that's the best we're going to get. We can just make it black. Whichever. Now, I think, yeah, we're, we're there. Technically, we're there. But let's go ahead and put in our name and get inside the game because we've took in quite a while. No. Your name is invalid. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay. No. Name is already in use. Okay, you know what, game? We're going to fight in a few seconds. What about this? There we go. That, that's the best name I can come up with, apparently. Can I have that? Thank you. Jesus Christ. But we actually made it. We're done with creating our character. It took me a while to actually find a name that they would allow. And what the hell is this loading screen? <laughs> Okay. A peaceful world under the protection of the Twelve Gods. A land of legend ruled by the power of the Dofus. Oh, Dofus. Six dragon eggs, symbols of power and givers of hope. Good thing you, you said the title for me. I butchered the hell out of that opening this video. Oh well. People will be alright. The elements and monsters have been unleashed. The time has come. Your destiny has brought you to Inkernam. Discover the world. Find precious allies. Find the Dofus. Become a hero. And become a part of the legend. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't want to. Ah, so it's sort of like up tile like up top clicking oh well I'm clicking random things let's just go talk to him all right just teach me your tutorial all right my bag and I shall equip it exit To change map, look at the edge of the screen. Oh, okay, there you go. So it's one of those games. Okay, then it just goes, okay, it's sort of like Final Fantasy. You have to run into a monster, then you get into battle. Choose your position from the red cells, okay. And hit ready. Position yourself during a fight. Your character movement points. Okay. So this is my MP. My movement points. Now I have a whole bunch of skills I can use. Alright, I shall cast this spell. Even though I didn't read it. Caster gains one, one MP. Alright, so there's elements as well. So I'm guessing this guy has like a certain element, element on him? Maybe? Win the fight. Hold on. Do you have like an element you're like... 
we could skip. I, I want it to stay on you so I can actually like hover over everything so I can see what is what. Deactivate creature mode. So the. So basically, I, I look like that if I'm in creature mode. Why won't you let me just like... I don't know. I'm just gonna kill you. Okay, I was trying to see what would happen. Alright, so the target becomes prey. When they are attacked, their attacker is healed by... Okay. That's basically like putting on like life still, but on your enemy. Interesting. And you're dead. So very straightforward and simple like playstyle. All right, I talk to you again. Set off the challenge, new things. Alright, I'll remember that. Remember to equip new things. Remember remember that wolf. Well, I'll just put that on. I can just double click everything. Now I have a shield. How can I hide it? I don't want I don't want that look look of it though. Whatever. Whatever. Next room. Now fight this guy. What a loser. Let's go fight him. I'm going to start right here. So I'm guessing there's like a party system where you fight with other people. Alright, there's a timer now. So I can only move that far. It's in my turn. So, note to self, you can't go AFK. I want my HP back, thank you. And eat bones. Your turn. Ow. Goodbye. Yeah, definitely interesting. I do believe you play with other people. Alright. I have a new chest. Accept all. I got achievement. And I earned a new skill. This is a wind type attack. Alright, go up the stairs. I got this. Look at this guy. So basically I'm going into like crafting or something like that. Looks like it. Harvest customers. Yep, basically crafting. Let's go harvest these. I don't know what these things did to us, but especially that tree. I guess the tree was talking a lot of smack, so he kind of deserved it. pretty interesting that oh did I get the fish I guess I got the fish okay let's just craft it now apparently I got the fish I I, I thought I failed with the way it looked
Wait, does this just give me a random item? I guess I'm just missing something here. Hold on. Let me equip that. Totally need a paper hat. No, I can't equip this? Or maybe I just can't equip it right now. Now, let's see if I can equip it. Yep. I really don't want that to be seen. How, how does one hide? I guess there is no hide button. Maybe there's one in the options, but I'm too lazy to go in there and try and figure that out. Wait, wait, no, 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 talk to him. Alright, the combat room. It's very quiet. Where's all my peaceful music? He looks like a jerk. I totally want to attack him. Even though I can't like see his like stats or anything. It's just I really don't know uh if the whole element thing actually comes into play. It doesn't seem like it. Well, from start off. Whoops. Let's put this on here. You can have that. Although we had another skill. Where'd it go? Maybe, I, maybe I'm forgetting something or missing something. Ah, okay, I see. So it is pretty much like Final Fantasy in a way. If you disconnect from your like opponent, you lose like some of your like. What was I about to say? You lose some of your mana, and it's somewhat like Pox Nora in a way. That I can say. What the? Okay, apparently I can level things. Uh, not sure. Hold on. Rip. Alright, I believe I do have the idol. Oh, that idol. Come at me again, bro. I'm ready. Let's make you a prey. Alright, what is this? I could have sworn we gained that skill already. So I guess we require points or leveling? Looks like I can level it up. Oh, not possible during the fight. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, I didn't get it. That's what I get for being distracted. Does back damage count as anything? No. Basically does not. And this whole time thing is... Making everything a lot different. Hold on, let me put this on you. Because I'm used to taking my time in these like strategy games. But since it seems like it's co op, that's probably why. Hey, stop running away from me. Now here. 
Take that. Alright, let me check the rest of my skills. Put this on you again. Let's move up and hit you once more. Okay, yep. Game. Note to self, don't double click. Oh, so you can actually double click right there too. But I don't think it pops up anything. Will you stop running away from me and accept your fate? God darn it, quit double clicking things, Wolf. There you go. But I'm pretty sure i gotten... Wait, what? Do I have to do it again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got uh, my feel of the game right now. But that's just a little bit of the gameplay or what the game has to offer. So I'm pretty sure like the game's multiplayer. You guys have to test it out and try it out for yourselves. Alright, guys, let's just defeat these guys and move on. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last match. Just because I'm ready to wrap up the video. But so far, it's interesting in its strategy. Just because I can do all kinds of different like abilities and attack. It seems like it has like a whole bunch of attacks you can actually learn. Which is actually pretty cool. And this guy is rather annoying. I wish he would just stop what he's doing and just accept his fate. Okay, yep. This is now me. I'm coming for the booty. But I have nothing else, so I'm pretty sure that's going to wear off next round. Oh, no, it did not. Give me the booty. You can't run away. Alright, so that only lasts for like two rounds. I'm going to put this on you just so I won't like die and get some extra HP. There we go. That was hardly a challenge at all. Then a kid. It did take us a while. Seems like there's more tutorial, I guess. What's this? Guessing it's one of the eggs? So let's just see how the outside looks. Here's the merchant. We can attack those as well. Those give us XP. Uh, this guy gives us a quest, I believe. And it seems like there's the other players walking around as well. But we got another achievement called Way of Souls. But guys, that is a little bit of the gameplay that this game has to offer, and you guys can try out the game yourself and see how you like it. Okay, what do I push to break up my skills? Well, spells, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna level up Prey. Alright, so you can just see how much they do. Heals damage, well, heals the attacker for 25%. And next one is... Alright, pretty good damage, pretty good. Nothing like super fancy though. Alright, so that skill actually went in now. I guess we just couldn't use it inside the like tutorial. I guess. 
area of effect, everyone. Okay, that's that's what I was trying to figure out. What the hell? What the hell was that? But it seems like this skill needs a little bit of love. So let's give it to it. But before I got distracted, I will see you guys um, next time. If you guys do enjoy a little bit of Dofus, do try out the game yourselves. Um, I'm not sure if it's like multiplayer yet, but I'm pretty sure you guys can find a video on it. You know, I don't like thoroughly like search all these games and everything, but I'll just give you guys a little bit of like a first impression or just a little bit of look from like the start and the beginning of the game. And if you guys find interest in the game from there, then you guys can search up some more videos and see a lot more. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.